Find problem. Visualize. Prototype. And resolve. This is BMAT 2310, Intro Biomedical Engineering Design at Georgia Tech. In the classroom of BMAT 2310, students are busy doing stuff in groups. Let's get a closer look. Some of them are sketching, putting stuff together, and recording. What are they up to? So essentially what we ask the students to do is to look at an existing medical device and to try to understand how the device works, how it came to be, how people use it, how businesses make money selling it, and basically everything surrounding how the device exists in the marketplace and how it relates to the individual's health. And then we try to get the students to understand the, um, the importance of the device and how it functions from an engineering standpoint, and then to recontextualize the device and design it so that it will work for a different user. A design process can be visualized using a graph with two axes. On the horizontal axis, they are doing and watching. On the vertical axis, they are thinking and feeling. Each quadrant represents different types of engineers. Reflectors and theorists are engaged in problem-finding processes. Pragmatists and activists are engaged in problem-solving processes. The one whole cycle represents a design process and students in BMAT 2310 go through the whole cycle in a semester. At the beginning of a semester, students make simple design structures. And as the semester progresses, students start to develop their own design project in team basis. A problem uh, with a lot of um, elderly people is that they suffer from deep vein thrombosis, which is um, a condition that creates blood clots in your legs. So in order to prevent deep vein thrombosis, um, we want to increase the blood flow in the legs so that the blood doesn't coagulate as easily. So to do that, you create a pressure gradient in your leg in increasing blood flow um, uh, upwards towards the heart. So um, to create that pressure gradient, we made a sleeve that has uh, nitinol wire incorporated into it. And so um, nitinol wire has unique uh, memory shape uh, properties so that um, you can form it in any way you want like so a weave into a sleeve and when it's supplied with a current or heated up um, it will reshape to the memory that it was formed in so um, and if you weave it a certain way you can get it to compress around the leg and create the pressure gradient. Then where do students make all these prototypes? In BME Design Shop Students can 3D print CAD structures, do laser cutting, and use Dremel tools under guidance to prototype and to make their final products. But students don't just make stuff. Factoring in a lot of other issues beyond just engineering um, problems, um, issues with um, being aware of um, user needs uh, primarily uh, is one of the main things we want to make sure that they um, uh, start appreciating uh, as part of the design process um, and also marketing uh, needs as well uh, how the product that they develop uh, would ultimately be uh, sold and um, what what are the reasonings behind um, why certain products are designed the way they are uh, as they relate to the marketplace experimenting trying new stuff prototyping more, and enthusiastically discussing with their teammates, students are approaching to their final step of a complete design cycle in BMAT 2310.